Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Hi everybody, today we are going to learn the fourth chapter of further maths which is matrices. So let's start with some basic arithmetic. So the first one is addition. Let's say we have two matrices. What we do for the addition is just adding each of the components inside the matrix. So we can see that each corner, just add them up. 2 plus 3 is 5 and etc. Whereas for subtraction, it is also the same. It is just the subtraction of each component in the matrices. So the first one is 2 minus 3, we will get minus 1, and the same for the other components. The third one is multiplication. So for scalar, it is just, let's say in this example, 3 times each of the component inside. So we get these four numbers. And a more complicated one, which is the non-scalar multiplication. This is a more complicated process where let's say we have two matrix A and B and we want to multiply them. It is not that easy that you just multiply each component together. So what you do is you have to do the multiplication of each row and the multiplication we do here is scalar product which you have learned in the vector. So let's say the first row we multiply with each column of the second matrix and so on and so forth. Let's take an example. So we have A11 times B11 plus A12 times B21 plus A13 times B31. That's the first row and the first column. And for the second component, we'll do the same thing. Okay, so it's A11 times B12 plus A12 times B22 plus A13 times B32. And then finally, the last column. So A11 times B13 plus A12 times B23 plus A13 times B33. Then we have the first row of the first matrix done. Then we will move on to the second row. So the second row, we have A21, A22, and A23 components, and we will multiply it or do the scalar product with each of the column of the second matrix. So A21 times B11 plus A22 times B21 plus A23 times B31. Next is the second column, A21 times B12 plus A22 times B22 plus A23 times B32. And the final column, A21 times B13 plus A22 times B23, A23 times B33. Okay, now the final row, A31 times B11 plus A32 times B21 plus A33 times B31. And the second column, we have A31 times B12 plus A32 times B22 plus A33 times B32. Finally, the last column, A31 times B13 plus A32 times B23 and A33 times B33. Oops, sorry about the error. Now, let us look at determinants. We'll start with 2 by 2 matrix. So suppose we have a matrix which is A1, A2, B1, and B2. And we have four points, A, B, C, D, which forms a square and undergo a transformation of the matrix that we have just written a1, a2, b1, b2 into 
a parallelogram with a new coordinate of a prime, b prime, c prime, and d prime. So we know that the coordinates of A is 0, 0, coordinates of B is 1, 0, C is 1, 1, and D is 0, 1. The matrix that we have written, A1, A2, B1, B2, will be the transformation function that changed the whole square into a parallelogram. So this is performed in a simple way, which is the matrix multiplication. So we rewrite the four points and multiply it with the matrix that we have got, and we obtain a new coordinate. So after transformation, a prime is 0, 0, b prime is a1, a2, c prime is a1 plus b1, a2 plus b2, while d prime is b1 and b2. So what does determinant represent? It represents the new shaded area of the region, a prime, b prime, c prime, and d prime. We can obtain the determinant geometrically by calculating the area of the shaded area or the area of the parallelogram. This is the proof, but we can conclude that the area of the shaded area is A1 times B2 minus A2 times B1. And we can write the notation of the determinant by changing the original bracket into two straight lines. The straight lines will indicate the determinant of the matrix, which is A1 times B2 minus A2 times B1. How about 3 by 3 matrix? How do we calculate its determinant? Instead of the area of the parallelogram, this represents the volume of a parallel pipette. So let's say we have this matrix. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3 and we want to find its determinant which is represented by two straight lines and the way we calculate it is by first drawing out a small box on the right bottom corner of the matrix and we will times A1 with the determinant that we use on the 2x2 two two matrix B2 times C3 minus C2 times B3 and the second step is minus A2 and again, we choose each corner's numbers which is B1 times C3 minus C1 times B3 whereas the third step is plus A3 times the left-hand side bottom corner using the same determinant of the 2x2 two two matrix which is B1 times C2 minus C1 times B2 and this is how we get the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix. And again, I would say it represents the volume of the parallel pipette. Alright, now let us look at some properties of determinant. There are two properties. The first one is the determinant of A times B. It goes to the determinant of A times the determinant of B. Or the second theory is swapping any two rows of a matrix will change the sign of the original matrix. Let us look at an example to prove the properties. So we have A and B matrices and we are going to times them together to obtain AB. If you look properly, you will notice that row 1 and 2 of matrix B have been swapped. Now we are going to determine the determinant of AB by carrying out what we have learned just now. So it's 4 times 2 times 7 minus 5 times 1 minus 5 times 1 times 7 minus 3 times 1 plus 2 times 1 times 5 minus 3 times 2 and we get 14 as our answer. Now we are going to calculate the determinant of A. So same method. 0 times 0 times 1 minus 0 times 0 minus 1 times 1 times 1 minus 0 times 0 plus 0 times 1 times 0 minus 0 times 0 which is minus 1 and now the determinant of B is 1 times 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 1
times 5 times 7 minus 5 times 2 minus 2 times 4 times 7 minus 3 times 2 plus 1 times 4 times 5 minus 3 times 5 and we get negative 14 as our answer. Hence, we can conclude the properties that the determinant of AB is equal to the determinant of A times the determinant of B. And also, by swapping two rows of matrix B, we found that the determinant of matrix B is equal to the negative of its matrix after swapping the two rows. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the mark scheme just doesn't seem to help, genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.